Okay, so it is the uh, 16th of September, 2016, and Sheila and I have taken a little trip up to Princeton. And as I was thinking while we were coming here, when I was a young man growing up on the farm, I never ever expected that taking a drive to Princeton would be something that I would look forward to. But here I am, and this Saturday morning, Sheila and I decided that we would go to Princeton to visit the street and the home that Albert Einstein lived on. So, as you're looking up the sidewalk here, you have to imagine that in the 1930s and 40s, a common occurrence would be Albert Einstein walking up and down the sidewalk on this side and the other side of the of the street as he went to uh, work at his office here in Princeton. I just finished reading his biography and that's what really got my uh, piqued my interest. So the Einstein home is not a uh, museum. He didn't want it to be a museum. It is on the National Registry of uh, of homes and uh, there it is right across the street so a few decades ago this was a uh, very incredible hub of activity Indira Gandhi and her father stood on that steps with Einstein in the mid 1940s shaking hands a lot of people went through this house over the uh, centuries. So those of you who are friends of mine, families of mine, who, like myself, never would have thought of this place being of any interest to us, now that I've read Einstein's biography, walking up these same sidewalks as Einstein did, uh, in a certain way, pays my respects to Albert Einstein, one of the greatest thinkers, and a man that more and more people need to know about himself and his life. He really did stand for the the rights of individual people to uh, have a decent living. He fought for the oppressed and right now there's plenty of us that are oppressed with the government policies that we have uh, that are leading this nation. So Albert Einstein Thank you.